Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about how we can take a spreadsheet, put it up to an online map, and allow people the ability to edit it out in the field with a smartphone and the collector for ArcGIS app, or and or with a web browser on a tablet or on a PC or on a Mac, uh, laptop, etc. So how can they edit it in the field or in any setting with this editable map that we're going to set up on ArcGIS Online? So I'm starting with a simple spreadsheet here. It's very simple. It's got five col uh, columns in it. City, state, country, whether it's pedestrian friendly or not. I want to find out if a certain location in people's communities, whether they consider that pedestrian friendly or not. You know, is the sidewalk broken up? Are there trails? Are they walking on the curb and a bunch of gravel? You know, is it pedestrian friendly or not? So I'm going to put a little note to self or note to the people editing that yes or no. Put a yes or a no in that column and then some comments. So I'm going to go ahead and save that as an Excel spreadsheet, but also save it as a CSV, a comma separated value. So I've got it saved in both formats. Now I'm going to go ahead and add item from my computer. Now I'm in ArcGIS Online in an organizational subscription, and I'm logged in. So I can go ahead and add, uh, and I'm also a publisher, at least a publisher in that organization, so I can add things to my account. So I'm going to go ahead and choose File, and I've got it saved in a, a location called Editable, Editable Feature Services. So here's my pedestrian-friendly spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and add that, and a couple of tags, pedestrian, sidewalks, that's good, and publish it as a hosted layer. It's going to have an address, not a lat long, so I'm going to go and use the S3 World Geocoder, and I'm going to leave it at world because I want to be able to have people from other countries besides the U.S. be able to add things to this. So I'm going to go ahead and say add item right now, and that will now add it to ArcGIS Online, and it's going to create a feature service hosted out there in my organization. So that's really good. There's a couple things we need to do. First, after it creates the service, we need to be able to add the attachments. In other words, I want photographs, which are stored as attachments, to be able to be displayed inside that map. The second thing I also need to do is I need to make it editable, right? Because when you put stuff data out there, it's not editable by default. So let's do those two things right now. It says no addresses were matched. Well, I don't have any data in the spreadsheet. It's just field names right now. So Let's go back here, and there's nothing to there's nothing to review. But what I do need to do is go over here where it says layers and enable attachments. Now, in order to check that, you just go over to the layers again, and it says enable attachments or disable attachments. Let's go ahead and just check that. So now it says disable, which means I have it enabled. And then scrolling toward um, the top again, let's go ahead and edit. Okay, so now if I scroll down in this this zone here, which is my editable feature server, well, my feature service. Now I'm going to make it editable. Enable editing and allow editors to add, update, and delete features. Great. That sounds good. And uh, that's all I need to do is make it editable. Now you can vary this whether you want your users to be able to change each other's data or not. I've left it open to editing right now. So great. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, go back to my content. And let's see what it looks like. So now I've got a couple of things. I've got my original CSV file in there, and I have a featured layer, which is right here. Okay? So there's my, let's go ahead and add it to a new map. Add the feature layer to a new map. Great. So there it is. I'm going to go ahead and edit, and I'm going to test it out. I'm going to add a new feature, and I'm going to go to Grand Junction, Colorado, where I taught a workshop for educators not too long ago and is a great place to teach at a middle school. So I'm going to go ahead to this location right here and I'm going to click there. New feature. There's my new point. Great. City, Grand Junction. This is for analysis purposes later. Yeah, you've put it on the map so it knows where you're located. But I'm going to put these fields in here so I can do a search on all of the ones in Colorado, for example all of the ones in the United States, et cetera, et cetera, whether they're pedestrian friendly and be able to map that. So yes, this one was pedestrian friendly. Comments, uh, Cana Grand Valley Canal. And now my attachments. I'm going to choose an attachment 
and I'm going to go down to where my attachments, in other words, photographs are stored, and we will see that in just one moment. And I've got canal, there's my canal path, and that's great. And I'm going to close that, unclick edit, so now I can go ahead and click on there, and there is my attachment. Ah, beautiful place. You can see that it's quite pedestrian friendly with a nice long gravel, nice wide gravel pathway. Super. So there it is, and I've got it. It's editable. We haven't saved the map. And we haven't shared the map, so that means what we need to do now is save and share. So I'm going to save it as pedestrian friendly map. All right, super. Okay, so now we've saved the map. We want to share the map now with everyone. We could just share it with the organization if you prefer. But now I'm going to update the sharing and I'm going to say done. Now it's shared. So we should be able to go to a separate tab and this is where instead of ArcGIS.com with your organization name at the beginning, strip off your organization name and just put www.ArcGIS.com. Since we've shared it with everyone, see now it doesn't ask me to log in. Now I'm just, I could be anyone. Doesn't, I don't have to be myself. So this is, you know, John Q. Public, Jane Q. Public going out here and saying, oh, new feature, and I'm going to go ahead and add another thing, and look, I can add another thing to it. Great, so that's just a test to make sure you can do that. Now if we go back here to pedestrian friendly map, one thing I want to do is I want to change the symbology. I'm going to go ahead and change the symbology, so I'm going to change the style, and I'm going over here to this, this person. Uh, this this group of people because that's my symbol for whether it's pedestrian friendly or not and I'm gonna leave the default size and just say done here now I'm gonna save it again so let's save the map again and let's make sure that the sharing is on good and let's copy that URL into here and take off the education.maps.arcgis.com let's just put in www.arcgis.com see now it's got the correct symbology on it. It's got the people on it. So that's good. That is a way to be able to quickly go out in the field or on a web browser and now being able to edit it. And now the thing is, I want to be able to do this online. Well, that's a separate, that's just online with a, um, with, a, with, a, with a phone. The video is getting a bit long, so that's going to be a separate video about, okay, how do I enable people to do this on a, on a phone? How do I enable people to edit on a phone? Well, basically, what we'll talk about in that other video is you need to invite people to, well, first you need to share this map with a group. You need to then invite people in your organization to that group. So they need to be members of your organization and they need to be in that group. Then they'll be able to go to the collector for ArcGIS and start editing and adding things in the field with a phone using the collector app into this same live web map. But right now, anybody can go ahead and, and add things into this map because I've shared it with everyone. Or again, you can just share it with the world or with a, with a group. I hope that was helpful. Continue on being spatial. Thanks.